Hello everyone and welcome to My Organized Life where I'm trying to get my life organized. If you're new to the channel, a huge hello and welcome to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be going through and seeing how much money I was able to save for the month of May. Um, so how we do this is I take all of my current money out of my sinking funds binders and then I just put the same denominations that I put in throughout the month of May um, with fake money back into them. So I use fake money for a number of reasons. Um, it's just easier um, and that way I always know that I'm going to have as much money as I need on hand just because the sinking funds do sometimes get spent on what they're meant for throughout the month. So sometimes I don't always have the actual funds in them that we'd put in through the month. Um, Plus it just makes it a little bit more fun in my opinion. So I do go through and do that. So today we're going to be going through and counting them. So here is my just normal sinking funds binder. So we're gonna start with this one. So starting off, So starting off with Carbon's envelope, so for the month of May we were able to put 10, 20, 25, 30. So that's the usual amount that we can usually put into his envelope. So we've got 30 here. Alright, next is taxes. So for taxes this month, we were able to save 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, 150. So our usual 150 for taxes. Okay, for anniversary, we saved the usual 40. Back to school. So back to school we save 10, 20, 25, and 30. Oh, take that out. Okay. Stay down. Okay, right, next up is vacation. So for the month of May, I was able to save the usual $40 there as well. For Rain's birthday, it's 20, 40, 50, and 60. So that is also the usual amount. Most of these stay the same throughout the month unless there is three paydays for that month or if I have extra money to put towards something or not enough money to put towards something. Next is Christmas. So in May we saved 50, 100, 105, 110. puppy. This one we were able to fully fund this month, so we put a little bit extra towards it. So we saved 100, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 205. Thank you. 
So we did get our tax return back and that is why we were able to put a little bit extra towards Puppy's envelope this month, or last month I guess. Um, so it's nice to have that fully funded so that way when we're ready to take him to the vet, he's good to go. Okay, so the cats did not get anything um, this for May because their envelope was fully funded. Okay, so next up is the cats. So I put $2 in their envelope just to round up their total to an even number. I think there was like, I can't quite remember. Their total ended in a three, so I put two more dollars so that way it ended in a five and I didn't have any change in there. But other than that, they are fully funded. So next is birthdays. So in May, we saved the usual 40 for birthdays. Um, next is challenge. So this year for the challenge, I'm doing the 52 week challenge. So for May, we put towards, so May we were able to put in 51, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 134, which I believe is our usual amount there as well. Okay, next is Next up is emergency fund. So obviously I, so we were, hmm. so we were able to save a thousand dollars for our emergency fund. So it is fully funded. Um, we use tax fund, tax return money for this. Um, obviously I don't have a thousand dollar bill, so I'm just going to keep this placeholder that I'm keeping in here anyways, because this is staying in um, an account that collects interest throughout the year. So with this account, if I keep the money in there for a year and don't touch it. Um, I get 50% interest on it, so <laughs> it's definitely beneficial. So you saved a thousand there, and that, oh. and then lastly, we've got the pet emergency fund. So for the month of May, we were able to put 50, 100, 110, and 120. So 120 in their emergency fund, and their goal is a thousand as well. However, I'm not treating this like an actual emergency fund where I put money in it and then never touch it. Um, it's going to be used for uh, vet costs throughout the year, uh, stuff like that, and then I'll just always be putting money back into it type thing. So that is it for the everyday sinking funds. So now on to savings challenges. So I did buy the Budget Moms 2021 savings challenges. So we're just going to see what I was able to save for May.
and uh, for one of my paychecks, I decided to adjust my sinking fund denominations. And then for the um, May <laughs> challenges, I threw a lot of small denominations towards the totals because I knew it was just going to sit there and I didn't really mind if it was all smaller bills. So there is a lot to this one. <laughs> okay, so for May, I was able to save 51, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 15. So 215. Okay, so then what we do is we've got all of these bills here. Let's go ahead and count them. Okay, so we're going to start with these two. So we're going to add a thousand plus one hundred. Let's do 50s next. So we've got 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50, so plus 550. I think we may have hit over 2,000 for saved this month. Okay, let's work our way up now. So let's do the ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So plus 80. So next up is 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, ooh, 200 exactly. All right, we've definitely hit over, over 2,000. That's exciting. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, hmm. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty. So plus two forty. So let's see what we saved. All right, so for the month of May, I was able to save $2,176, and that is amazing. Um, it kind of hurt a little bit <laughs> throwing that $1,000. Um, at the emergency funds, but 
I'm really glad that I did that. I no longer have to worry about it. That money can just sit there. It can accumulate interest. Hopefully we don't have to use it for a long time, but it's there if we need it. And that alone is extremely comfortable. So I'm happy about that. Um, it was also really nice because Rain put his tax return money towards what was left on our land tax. We were always a little bit late paying our land tax about like by half a year, even when I started putting money away for it. That was before I even started um, my budgeting journey. I would always just take a certain amount out of my paycheck every month and just put it in a different savings account and forget about it. But it still wasn't usually till around October that I was able to pay that. So now with Rain's help, um, putting his tax return money in towards that, um, we are now on time with our tax return and now I can, or we are now on time with our land tax and now I can save throughout the year and by the time land tax comes out next year, I will have everything already there. So that is super awesome. And I'm also keeping my land tax money in with my emergency fund money. So that account with the 50% interest is going to be growing quite a bit throughout the year. I think with the tax money that I'm saving, I'm also going to throw that in that account. So that is a lot of interest if I can keep all of that money in there for a year without touching it. So that is my goal. And that's going to be really exciting to see exactly how much interest it accumulates. The only downfall to that plan is I think even if I take like $20 out of the account, I think I lose that premium interest. So I really, really don't want to touch that. So I should probably almost consider putting some money in a different account that you can touch sooner, but uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of like gambling because if you really need that money at some point, you're going to lose out on that interest. But oh well, I guess I'll just pray that I don't have to touch it and I'll figure it out if I do. So this is how much I was able to save for the month of May. I am super excited. I don't think I'll have very, I don't think I'll have another month this year where I'll, I'll save that much, but and that was really, really nice <laughs> to be able to do. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and ring that notification bell. I would love to have you along on my journey. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.